Hello, my name is Alex Linde, and I'm a Solutions Engineer at CyberArk. Today we're going to be setting up federation between Azure AD and CyberArk Identity. This type of setup is important when you have a customer who already has Azure AD as their identity provider and wants to be able to continue allowing their users to log into Azure AD with their passwords and their MFA factors configured there instead of using the password and MFA configured in CyberArk Identity. As you may know, Azure Active Directory is free within Azure, so this can be a free or it can be a pay-as-you-go account, but the important thing is that when you click on the Azure Active Directory, you'll see that there is a primary domain associated with that account, and that is a requirement to make this work. You will not need to do this in a production Azure environment, but if you're starting up an Azure environment for testing this, then you're not going to have any users or groups. So you can go ahead and go to groups and create a new group. And then you can go back and create a new user as well. And since we already created the group previously, we can automatically assign the user to that group and save them. Next, we'll go back to our directory, Enterprise Applications. Here we're going to click on New Application, Create Your Own Application, choose Non-Gallery, call your application CyberArk Identity. Now in the New Applications menu, select Single Sign-On to configure that. Choose SAML. And now we're going to switch gears. We're going to leave our Azure portal in place and we're going to switch over to our CyberArk Identity portal. We'll navigate on the left side down to Users, External Identity Providers, and add a new external identity provider. We'll call this Azure AD. And we're going to add the domain that corresponds to our domain in Azure. Then we'll click Add. Switch back to the Azure AD Admin Center, go to the SAML signing certificate, and click the Copy button under the App Federation Metadata URL. Switch back to CyberArk Identity, go under the Inbound Metadata, and paste it in here. Next, go to the Outbound Metadata section, download the metadata file switch back to Azure click the upload metadata file select it and click add now click save Next, we're going to need to make sure that the user principal name attribute is being sent from Azure to Identity Service Provider to ensure that the federated login is accepted. So we're going to click the pencil icon in the User Attributes and Claims section. We're going to select Add New Claim, type in User Principal Name. and select user dot user principal name under the source attribute. Once you save this attribute, the application is going to be configured and ready for testing. The attribute we just set up will pass the UPN of the Microsoft Azure AD user to the identity service provider, and identity will then create a record of this user and place him or her in the federated users group. The final step is to assign some users to this application so that they can sign on. We're going to go under Users and Groups. We'll add a user group. Now, my particular plan level doesn't allow me to assign groups, so I'll just assign individual users, select them, and assign them to the application. And they show up over here. Now we're ready to test. 
we also will need to go ahead and save that identity provider in here, and it shows up. Optionally, we'll also want to go into our policies and under the default policy, authentication policies to CyberArk Identity, which is log into the user portal. You may want to enable connections via federation, satisfy all MFA mechanisms. What this is going to do is just make sure that federated users will not also be subject to MFA from CyberArk Identity, because if your Microsoft uh, user is already doing MFA with Azure AD, there's no need for them to also do an additional level of MFA with CyberArk Identity. To test the login process, we're going to paste the username of one of our users, and CyberArk Identity will now know that when a user logs in with this domain and clicks Next, we're going to redirect them to Microsoft, where they will be authenticating through Microsoft. In this case, Microsoft is prompting me to set up the Microsoft Authenticator. I'm going to skip it for now, just so I can complete this demonstration. And we're allowed to log in as a brand new user, and a user record has automatically been created for Jack Doe within CyberArk Identity. We can verify that user record by going into our Users tab, refreshing it if needed, and that user should appear under the federated users, Jack at AZ900, et cetera. Thank you very much for watching this quick demonstration of how to set up federation with Azure.